Okay, so we're at um, half past. So we'll set the clocks up. So we'll have a select workout, new workout, intervals time. So we'll set the time for eight minutes and with a two minute rest. So in this first, first piece, we'll be splitting it four minutes at 22, four at 24. We're really just gonna work through our technical points um, and sort of work through the, the, the rhythm and, uh, and we'll do the rate change in the middle. And then we'll, um, yeah, we'll just work through our sort of technical points in this one, just establish our technical rowing. So just think about this one, one piece before we, before we set off. So I'm just gonna click the tick so we can go in 10 seconds. Looks like everyone's ready. So we've got the handle and again, from this standing start, we've got the, the flywheel stationary. When we press off the feet, we should feel a little bit of weight coming off our seats. So a bit of suspension, a bit of weight off the bum as we push down through our shins as we press off with a flywheel. So what we want to try and do is keep that feeling as the flywheel pace builds up. Okay, so here we go in three, two, one, go. So press. Pressing down through the shins. Keep that feeling of suspension or weight off the seat. So as we come up to the front end, press down through the shins. A little bit of weight off your bum. Good at 22. Nice start. Now let's think about levering the back against the leg drive. So we press. And then leave at the back against the leg drive. So you should generate pressure in the feet as you leave at the back through. Press and lever. Feel that pressure in the foot plate as the back levers against it. So the back's levering against the drive of the leg. You should feel the two. Working together. Good. Now, third focus freedom of movement. So nice and relaxed. Loose hands and elbows around the finish. The elbows never stop. Loose knees coming forward. Relax legs.
just moving freely, not putting the brakes on anywhere. Good. Okay, sit up tall. Good posture. Looking high over the screen. Ready to change with a press. Here we go. Press one. Press the feet. Press three. Press four. Press five. Now lever against it. Lever the back. Two. Three. Four. Five. Now move three. At 24. Moving freely. Good change. Hurry up that movement. Loose arms. Elbows moving. Relax knees coming forward. Go to 24. Moving free. Quick check on your breathing. Suck it in through the nose. Push it out through the mouth. Fill the chest cavity. Sitting tall. So check on posture. Tall at the finish. Tummies engage. Keep the abs working. Just sit back. Just past the vertical. Sit up at the front end as well. Tall. Looking over the screen. Head up. Good. Nice rhythm. 24. Moving freely. So we press and lever. Press and lever. Feel the weight in the feet as we leave the backs. Pressure on the feet all the way through. That's good. Nice change. Okay, paddle it out. Quick drink. Bit of ventilation if you need it.
So in this piece, we'll be doing changes at two minute intervals. So we'll start off at 22, 24, back to 22, and up to 24. So the same focus on the rate changes, we'll be pressing for five, levering the backs. So the levering the backs, we're pressing the feet, the legs down, and as we've still got the pressure in the feet, you lever against the leg drive. So we should really feel that opening of the back generates pressure on the feet. Really wanna feel that, so we keep the, keep the consistent pressure through on the, on the foot plate. And our levering our backs helps that. Was people just about able to hear okay during the piece? Yeah, was it coming through okay? Good. So we've got 20 seconds. Again, if you're going from a stationary flywheel, these are the most useful technical strokes you'll take. When you're coming from a dead flywheel, let's really feel that suspension off the seat as we press with the feet on the first few strokes. Really feel it and then try and keep it as we go. Here we go. Okay, let's press. Press down through the shins. Vertically. Down through the shins. Feel the weight off the seat. Nice press. Weight's going to be a bit lower. Let's keep the press. And now we lever the back. So here we go. One, lever. Two. Three, four, five, feeling it in the foot plate as we lead the backs against the leg drive. Good. Nice at 22. Strong rhythm. Let's move free with it. Okay. Relax the arms. Long, loose arms. Stretching out. Loose knees coming forward. Really well lubricated in the knee joints. Relaxed forwards. And as we come forward, we stretch into that slot, the vertical slot, where the chain disappears. Stretch into that spot. Hands moving on. Past the toes and into the slot. At 22. Good. Just think about that stretch now. Doing it through the lats. The long lats. Long loose lats into the slot. Here we go for the change. 24. Leather. Press. Press. Through the shins. Press vertically. Three. Press. Four. Press. Five. Good. Lever the back. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good lever. Now move three at 24. Good. Good. We up the movement. New rhythm at 24. Loose arms. Elbows moving. Loose knees. Relax. Relax, coming forward. Move free. We check on the posture. Sit up strong. At the back end. Sits all at the front. 
look it over the top of the screen. Okay, we're gonna make the change down in the same way. And then we're gonna use, use the extra time well. Here we go. Let's press. One, two, three, four. Press. Five. The backs. One. Two, three, four, five. Let's move now at 22. Loose and relaxed. Don't get sticky with the hands. Keep them moving. Elbows never stop. So clear the hands round. Straight arms. And then relax forwards. That extra time at 22. It's on the knees. Relax knees. Good. Good rhythm. Good at 22. Breathing. Tuck it in. Through your nose. Push it out through the mouth. Last weight change, here we go. We're pressing together. One, press, here we go. Two, three, four, press the feet. Five, lever against it now. In the backs. Two, three, backs, four, Lever, five, move three now. We up your movement. Move loose. Loose arms, long loose arms. Stretching away. Elbows moving around the finish. They never stop. This is good. Really good at 24. Strong rhythm. Get up tall. No slumping here. See it on the cameras. Tall at the back. Abs engage. Tall at the front. Heads up. Look over the screen. Move freely. Good. Ooh, paddle it out. Good piece. Oh, really good. Really nice rhythms. Really strong at 24. Really felt. At 24, I still had time, which is good. We're generating it in the right way. Good press, good lever, 
And then that gave us time. It's important on the changes down, same focus, we're still pressing, still levering, we're getting that, that dry phase strong. But then we still stay loose, continuous with the elbows around the back end, hands beyond the knees, and then we can take time. When I say time, taking time on the knees, the body's over, the hands are over the knees or past them, and then we can really relax with the, with the legs. Really take those loose, relaxed knees forward, and they stretch into the slot, so we don't go for too much with the upper body and let the bum squirt out. We just go for that little bit extra there. So I can have straight arms or I can have straight arms with stretch lats. Yeah, so we really look for that. This is our race profile. Third quarter of the session. So this is where it really counts. Third quarter of races and training sessions is really where we put it in. So just mentally switch on to this. We're gonna do a race profile going off at 24 down to 22, 24, 26. Here we go off the state boats. Ready, go. Press together. We're in a multi-lane race. Pressing away from the state boats. Good. Keep that suspension off the seat. Press down through the shins vertically. Keep that weight off the bum. Good. Big boats are disappearing now. We're going to lever the back. One, two, to set our rhythm. Three, four, lever together. Five, good. Move freely now. At 24. Strong start. Good start. We're at the head of the pack. And we're moving well. We're into our rhythm at 24. Check we're moving freely. Hands moving. Round the turn, elbows not stopping. Loose knees forward. Stretching the lats into that slot at the front. Good, strong rhythm. Good first 500. We're ahead of the pack. Going to 22 now. Keep it strong. Here we go. Press. Two. Three. Press. Four. Five. Good. Lever the backs. One. Against the leg drive. Two. Three. Feel it in the foot plate. Four. Five. Move three now. At 22. Now keep the hands moving. Elbows moving. Bodies tipping over. And take the time on the knees. Loose knees. 22. That's nice. We're inching out. Head of the pack. Just getting our noses in front. With solid rowing. Good. Everyone sitting up, 
back end. Little front end. Heads up. Thousand meters. Third quarter. Here we go. Press in for 24. Press. Press. Three. Four. Five. Good. Leave the backs. One. Two. Get in the foot plate. Three. Four. Five. Do three now. Do the 24. Good rhythm. Strong rhythm. We're up. Play a canvas. Moving well. Strong rhythm at 24. Good. Inching out, pressing the opposition away with the feet. Press them back. Lever against them. Lever away from their bowels. Good, we're moving. Good. Order of a length. Strong rhythm together. This is a good third quarter. Sending the puddles down. Send a message to the opposition. We're not coming back from this. That's good. We're getting ready to change up to 26. Get up strong, everyone. Here we go. Press. Last 500. Press. Feet. Press. Four. Press. Five. Lever now. Big lever. Lever away from them. Three. Four. Five. Good. At 26. Hands moving. Loose knees. Good. We're holding them. Third of a length up. Good. Stay strong. Long and loose. Stretch into the top now. Long laps. Setting up the last minute. Last 20 strokes. Here they come. They're charging now. We're going to have to hold it. One, press. Two, press. Three, press. Four, press. Five, lever now. We need to lever. We're down to a canvas. They're charging. Not coming back. Here we go. Then big ones at 26. One, press. Two, they're still coming. Three, press them away. Four, five. Up the canvas. We need to finish it. Keep it strong. Oh. Good. Two feet. We'll take that. Uh. Uh. Thanks for that, Lewis. How's everyone that's getting their breath, same as me? That was tough.
But just to warn everyone who doesn't know, the final 60 seconds of the next piece. So it's the 26th, one minute. At the very end, I tend to go fly and I empty the tank, but everyone needs to listen to their own body. So don't overdo it. And it's been incredible so far. Cheers. See you afterwards. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks, Nigel. That's good. OK, we've got our three pieces in the bank. They're done and dusted, so we're just focusing on this last one now. So we're doing two minutes at 22, minute paddle, two at 24, minute paddle, two at 26. And as Nigel said, that last minute of the 26, if you've got some left in the tanks, let's, let's push it on. But what we'll do here, the first minute of each of the pieces, we're going to set up, set up the rowing, just remind ourselves of our key points press with the feet keep the pressure on the feet by levering the back against the leg drive and then move together so especially at 22 we have a lot of time keep the elbows moving keep the bodies tilting and then take the time once the hands are beyond the knees yeah okay so starting off at 22 first minute we get our rhythm and six minutes six, six the next minute will be the best rowing at 22 here we go let's press Let's press together. Press, we're going to have plenty of time. So use it in the right way. Hands moving still. Body's tilting still. And then we take the time as the hands stretch beyond the knees. So the knees take the time up for 22. Not the hands or the body. Keep those moving. Be intentional with that. Everyone, see it on the screen now. At 22, move the hands and tilt the body. See it? Set up the good rowing for the last minute. Elbows moving, never stopping, body's tilting. Good. Good at 22 now. All right, ratio. Okay, that's 20 strokes at 22 of the day. Body's relaxed. Hands moving. Body's tilting. And we're going to press together. Press. Up the feet. Press. Down through the shins vertically. Press. Move the hands out there. Long, loose hands. Long, loose lap. Press and lever. Leave the backs against the leg line. Lever together. So you see that now on the screens. Let me see those backs are levering against the leg line. Lever it open. Extra pressure on the feet. Good rhythm at 22. Best of the day. Do it and paddle. So that's our form for these two minute pieces. We're going to set up good rowing in the first minute. Remind ourselves to set up a focus. And then, second minute, we're bringing it all together, really making it the best. Best rowing at that rate of the day. We've done all this work, not just physically, mentally, we've been thinking about our rowing. So let's really bring that together. We're working hard and thinking hard as well, but in a good way. So if you've got slow flywheel like me now, first few strokes, feel the weight off the bum. Here we go at 24. Press, suspend off. Press, press through the shins, feel the weight off the seat. And I'm maintaining that feeling now. And leave the hands out at the slot, long mats, and then press away from it. Don't grab the handle in towards you, leave it out at the slot, be brave. Leave it out there. Press off. 
Good. Check on the posture. Leaving our hands out at the slot. We need a good posture to press on. So the front end, sit up strong, look tall over the screen. Look over the top of it. Good rhythm at 24. We're going to bring it all together now. Last 20 strokes of 24, best of the day. Let's see it on the screen. Press. Press the feet. Press. Down through the shins. Now leave at the back. It needs to be against the leg drive. In fresh air, feel the lever building it on the feet. Good. Good at 24. Best of the day. Leave the hands at the top. Press. Strong posture. Press. Stretch with the lats. Press with the feet. Stretch, lats, press, feet. Good paddling. Getting that good press. So if we start from a good posture, long lats, when we press, we're instantly connected to the flywheel and the foot plate. And in doing that, I don't know about you, but I just felt at 24, that I had loads of time. And I was really nicely connected, pressing, levering against the press. And then I could take my time coming forward but only once the hands are beyond the knees. We still keep the hands moving and the body tilting. But at 24, I felt like I had loads of time there. Okay, we've got a slow flywheel. Really this time, 26. We're gonna go for a big, big press, straight down through those shins vertically. Here we go. Press, weight off the seat now. Press. Press. Three. Four, five, good. Lever against it now. Lever, I'm coming off the safe boats at the start. Lever away from them. Lever away from the opposition. Lever the backs against the foot. Good, really feel it in your feet. Moving free now. Loosen up. Hands moving. Elbows moving, body tilting, and loose legs, loose knees forward. At 26, nice rhythm. Okay, we set up, set up a nice rhythm. Best now, 26. Here we go, with Nigel, push it. One, two, Three, build the rate. Four, five, squeeze it out. Let's go. See what you've got left. Last push of the day. Here we go. With Nigel. Last 10. Press. Press. Lever. The backs. Move freely, squeeze it on, send the puddles, press away, all the way. I'm just gonna try and paddle a two minute rest. Whew. Given my heart rate, that's gonna have produced some lactic acid. So I just wanna flush that out. 
we had a really good session. I don't want to be carrying through the rest of the weekend. So this two minutes, I'm just moving at the moment. At the last minute, I'm just going to stretch out and take my body through the full range of the rowing stroke. No real work. So just take it through the full range. And now's a good time. Think about the technical things because your body, body won't put up any resistance. You can really think about leaving the hands out at the slot at the front end and just press away with the feet. Just move with it. No massive work. Just taking your muscles through the full range of movement. The more the chance to recover. Really feel the benefit of just letting the lat stretch out into that slot. And then I just press on my feet. I then try and grab the handle back. I just leave it out there like the water skier, stretched arms, and then just press on the foot plate. Keeps everything nice and nice and simple. Good, so that's, now's the time to. If you've got any comments, pop them in the chat or come off mute. It's always good to get some feedback or hear other people's experiences on the, on the session. I just hope you can sort of hear okay with the, with the audio. I'll start the ball rolling. Lewis, Nigel here in Frankfurt. Now, welcome to all the newbies. Great to see over 50 people signed up and active for this Saturday morning. Uh, I'd love to hear, I'm sure Lewis and Zoom Ergos would as well, from the experience now of any of the newbies, how you found it, if it was understandable, if you enjoyed it. So uh, don't feel scared. Lewis won't bite. And we're all a small, nice, happy family. Have a good weekend, everyone.